Hello, and welcome to the Joe Cortez Show here in Las Vegas, Nevada, the entertainment capital of the world. Well, this week we have a special guest. I mean, it, I was really impressed listening to them, watching them the other night perform their sites and the end. Uh, you guys are amazing. Welcome to the show. Uh, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. So happy well, to be here. Yeah, yeah. No, it's an honor to have you on the show because we're the entertainment capital of the world. Yes, of course, we are. you know. Why not bring entertainers on? People say, Joe's into the boxing. He always has boxing on, but no, this week is very special having you guys on here because uh, entertainment is why when people come to Vegas, you either come to gamble, watch uh, some fight the fights, yes. and of course, entertainment, you got, you got to be entertaining between, <laughs> and that's what you guys have been doing. And now uh, you guys have been entertaining since what, 2009 together? Yes. 2009. Tell uh, me a little bit about yourself, size, and then we'll go with the end. Okay, well, as far as the, I've been performing ever since I was able to talk and walk. Really? My wife said I came out moonwalking, she said, apparently. And uh, I started singing and performing. My brother and uh, my brother and my mom were always singing around the house, that's where I got it from. Uh, make a long story short, through the years, a lot of singing, impersonation, moved here 2004, um, got into the show, um, Purple Rain, the Prince tribute show. I didn't do Prince. I don't do Prince. I did more stay in that show. But everybody everybody then, said you look like Prince, huh? I don't see it, but I take it as a compliment. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, and then I did that for 2004 to 2009 uh, in the show. And then in 2009, I decided to be me. And then my wife and I, ironically, the guy in the, in the show, um, Chris Lane, was like, you guys need to just do something together because we was always dressing alike or <laughs> matching. And he said, you guys should do something similar. And next thing you know, the rest is history, 2009 to now, and still going forward with oh, that's, that's that. fantastic. Uh, you guys, I saw you the other night. You guys were, were outstanding. I salute, Thank Thank salute the uh, restaurant, the Mexican restaurant. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Wednesday night, you guys on there from, from 6 to 9? Yes. yes, every Wednesday. Okay. Every Wednesday. Now tell me, Deanne, about yourself, a little bit about yourself, your background. <laughs> I have quite a few hats, actually. So obviously, I am a duo with Scythe. My strongest coming into the entertainment was always dancing. So I started at a very young age, same thing with tap and jazz. And then as I got a little older, I fell in love with ballroom. And it kind of like the story out of uh, Dirty Dancing, all of a sudden I saw they were auditioning for teachers huh. at Arthur Murray in Sacramento where I was living in California. And I went and I became an instructor, went through boot camp, and ballroom has been my passion ever since. Wow, that's amazing. So I love the dancing part. I do love the singing. I was more of the singing in the shower kind of person. But my husband has really pulled me out into doing more, which is a lot of fun. Hey. But when I'm not doing that with Scythe, I'm actually a mindset mentor. Scythe, tell yeah. me a little bit about the Scythe yeah, mindset people, mentor. What's, <laughs> what is and I was like, what is that? Well, basically, I just help people to understand their mind, to go deeper, really kind of find out who they are, because we should always be growing. We should always be growing and going for more and really, truly being who we were meant to be. We all have a purpose. Exactly. You know, and you've you've definitely shown your purpose and he's shown his purpose. And <laughs> I just want to do that for everyone. Bring that out of them. Be happy, joyful, peaceful, especially in the, the landscape we've all been in, right? No, exactly. Well, I, I can <laughs> tell you one thing that is nothing better than to be uh, involved, always doing something with the public, especially helping out in the community. And I, I know you guys do a lot with the seniors as well. Yes. yes. You perform a lot for yes. seniors. Yes. And you have a, have a, you have a big following, I understand. Mm -hmm. yes, now, we uh, do. you know, I always believe that you got to have faith in, in life and that you got to take that step of faith and God, God will walk you through it all, you know? Yes. Absolutely. So, yeah, I mean, you guys are definitely are what people need today to be around, not just people that are just gambling and, and, <laughs> and drinking and all that. No, you guys right, are right. more like bring people together to show them that there's life no matter how old we get. Like I said, I may be getting older, but my body's getting younger. And mentally, I'm 100% there, too. Love it. <laughs> so tell me a little bit more about yourself, uh, your entertainment, what's going on. You know, you, you perform where in the past and what's coming up on the horizon? Okay, well, I think basically I performed at every casino on the strip. <laughs> okay. And, uh, and that through um, when I was with Purple Rain and through my wife and I doing our corporate gigs. And we do a lot of private, a lot of corporate gigs. And uh, like you said, we done a lot of stuff with seniors. Um, even over the pandemic, when we was on lockdown, right. every Wednesday. First it was Thursday and it went to Wednesdays. 
and Thursday we switched from Thursday because she's a football girl. So, <laughs> and um, so you, without fail, every week for like a year and a half, we did a two-hour show mm-hmm. every week. Sometimes two and a half hours, but usually two hours show every week. And um, and then as soon as the, the lockdown you know lifted, then we was able to get out more into the community again, which we love. Mm-hmm. And uh, because even though seniors are a big following, we have a lot. Uh, we have a large spectrum of age that mm-hmm. that, um, that are followers, <clears throat> but. We look at them as friends and family because they're always there to for that smile, that extra even requesting songs. I didn't think about that one, <laughs> and uh, and so we just do what we do. We love what we do because our gifts is to be given back. And it's not for us. Now, what kind of music you play? I mean, I know you you do like all eras, or just like from the fifties to from the fifties all the way up to early nineties, and then Bruno. Okay. Uh, we do a, every spectrum, every genre, every decade, from. Frank Sinatra to Bruno Mars to Garth Brooks to Michael Prince, Jackson Prince. to Michael Jackson yeah. to from Morris to Glenn Campbell you just never know. Yeah, well, I mean, we do everything from Olivia Newton John to Reba. How about Smokey? Yeah. Smokey oh, Robinson. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, we do Smokey Robinson. <laughs> yeah. Got to have the Motown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I, cannot I, be in Vegas without Smokey, the Motown. I, I love Smokey Robinson and Elvis. Mm-hmm. And I like yeah, Elvis Presley. Yeah, one one of the great ones. Yeah, yes. he's, uh, he would uh, he shoot the world. This guy. Oh, well, mm-hmm. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, I want to see if we can get a little bit of a little clip of uh, your entertainment uh, here in Las Vegas. If we get our engineer to maybe show something on the screen there okay. of uh, you guys doing something. Okay. Let's yeah, I think it. we have a little little clip. As Art Center used to say, uh, hit it, Sandy, so we'll... <laughs> hit Rick. Rick? <laughs>
Well, guys, that was pretty impressive. I mean, you guys got talent, that's for sure. Thank you. I mean, you guys are really I outstanding. I mean, if anybody comes to Vegas, they got to check you guys out. Uh-huh. And, and some Thank of the hosts out there that are not watching need entertainers, you are, you are the perfect couple for that. Oh, you guys are amazing. You. We're truly honored. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, no, that's, that's really impressive. I mean, I wanted to get somebody special like you on the show because, like I said, this is the entertainment capital of the world. Yes, I'm it gonna is. Bring, I'm going to bring the best out here. You know, it really, you know, I got Clint Holmes coming up in the oh, next couple yeah. of weeks. Oh, yeah, yeah he'll be coming Clint. out. He's going to be visiting on the show. And uh, I love bringing people from all walks of life on the show because I, this show is not only for boxing. People say, well, Joe's a boxing referee. You know, that's good. I love it and everything. But I also have another life, too, you know. Right. It's not just all boxing. Especially at my age now, you know, we got to show that we got a little spark of the old flash. <laughs> you know? You're speaking anyway. my language. <laughs> yes. So, so tell me a little bit more about uh, yourselves, uh, Sight. Uh, you now have been, you have any hit records that you've recorded or you're planning in the very near future? Well, I wouldn't say they were hit records because they were all locally done. Huh. And um, But my personal music, my inspiration is Yanni. I don't know if you know who Yanni, Yanni is, the, uh, from Greek, from Greece. And uh, ironically, now let my wife tell the story, but um, he was my inspiration. And I saw him playing on a video from a Black from Acropolis. He uses one name, I go by one name. We're both born in November. Both our last names start with the C and we both play by ear. <laughs> you know, and at the uh, Smith Center, my wife surprised me in 2019, I got a chance to meet Yanni. It was just him and his piano. And you got a chance to talk with him and everything, and I was like a big kid backstage. It was like, well, you know, you know, I, I told you, I told, you, I told you to bring your piano because I want you to do a little something for us live right. here in the studio. Okay. So, if, please do a little. Bit, yes, sir. Do a little something for us special. All I want to hear some voice, buddy. I want to hear, I want to hear that voice. Come on, let's hear a little bit of that boy, beautiful voice of yours. You know how early it is? <laughs> let's see here. For you. I've got sunshine on a cloudy day. I've got the month of May. Well, I guess you say, yeah, yeah. What can make me feel this way? Oh, yeah, my girl. My girl. My girl. Talking about my girl. (laughs) Man, I'm mad. I'll tell you, that guy was. The man's got the voice, man. The man's got it. He got, he got talent. Oh I mean, he's very, very talented. I love it. I wasn't prepared to sing. So. No, it's all right. But you know what? When you're a pro, you can do it anything, you know? I you, received that. Thank you. You know, you are really a professional, and <laughs> you're probably singing your sleep. You're so damn good. <laughs> so now tell me about... Uh, Am I blushing? So now tell me, um, Deanna, about yourself. Now, you're singing. You say you, you your husband kind of broke you more into singing, but you were more a shower... Type yes. singer, and he, he, he said, hey, this girl, you got a voice. Mm-hmm. You got to let it out there. Mm-hmm. You got to believe in yourself. And you started doing it. You say, wait, you're right. I got to believe in myself. I can do anything. And that's what I tell people out there. You got to believe in yourself. You can do it. Don't let nobody tell you you can't. Everything is possible. As long as you got it here mentally and in your heart, you can go forward. No question about it. I love it. I got chills. I love <laughs> yes. it. That's my language. And I think that's why when we first spoke, 
I was just, oh my gosh, this guy is fantastic because when you said what you did about, you know, the age and, you know, and you're getting younger, I was like, he's, he's the epitome of what we call aging in place. And I'm a board member for the National Aging in Place Council. Mm -hmm. And it's really beautiful when I see people who have the attitude that you do and the history that you do. And you're also very much community minded. <laughs> Yes. You know, and it was so wonderful to learn of some commonalities we have with seniors. I'm also the chairperson for the City of Las Vegas Senior Citizens Board. So I am, uh, we have a board and basically we're assimilating information and when we need to, we'll go to the mayor and city council for change. Sure, yeah, yeah, and it's been beautiful just listening to, you know, some of the things we've talked about. I yeah. think it's amazing when we remember the people who came before us right because right? we all have a past and a history and how beautiful that we get to share it and we need more people to share it exactly you know i was uh, honored one time by two governors i was appointed to the state nursing board i was a board member i was the only non-medical on the board yeah. of the five members i rep represented the public sector so i was uh, involved for two terms two and a half terms with the uh, nevada state nursing board mm -hmm. and that was very nice and then I, then I ended up, after years after I retired from the nursing board, I come back now, I have my own assisted living. But my assisted living nice. is called La Mansion mm -hmm. LV. La Mansion LV uh, is a, is a high-end assisted living. Mm -hmm. We only have 12 suites, but they're all like risk Carlton type of suites. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful place. It's an 18,000 square foot facility. It was my home for, for 17 mm -hmm. years. And uh, now it's a beautiful, the most luxurious <coughs> on five beautiful acres. Yes of a sister living that we have, so I love it. And um, I've always been involved in the community. I like to do it. that's why I like to put this show on here, because I want the, the folks out there to see that I bring people from all walks of life on the show, because I think that it's important that everybody knows that there's so much going on out there. I don't care your age, if you're young, you're middle-aged, right. or you're old, there's always room to enjoy life. You can't stop living, you gotta keep going forward. Keep going and pay it forward too, that's what I do. I've, I've enjoyed life, I've traveled the world over and over with my boxing career, and I'd like to share some of that knowledge and wisdom with my friends out there to see the kind of what I'm doing today and bring in my beautiful guests that I have very talented guests here, Scythe and Dion on the uh, show, because this is something that is needed in the community. They perform very well for the community, and uh, you've been doing it for a number of years. Uh, what is your next gig? What's coming up next? Wow, we, we have so many. Uh, we do a lot of corporate work, and of course we work with the senior communities, and we don't take that lightly. We've never went into those without any kind of mission other than spreading joy and right. love and being able to do the oldies that we love <laughs> and it's been so beautiful and has turned into everything that i've you know i'm doing right now uh, but at the same time we every wednesday are at salud mexican yes. bistro and tequila ria and they were somewhere. yeah hi they were guests last week for you and mm -hmm. this has been amazing we've been there 10 months mm -hmm. we're gonna have a huge anniversary party october 12th wednesday Ooh, that's the day before yeah. my birthday oh well oh. then we gotta celebrate too <laughs> you gotta come out yeah. and yeah. we're looking forward to having a wonderful night there we have wonderful wednesdays it has been so amazing to be able to bring our I, I say this lightly but our following you know mm -hmm. the people who we've been able to impart into their life in whatever way and just continually have a stream of people coming in every yes. Wednesday and to know that they're taken care of and that they get great food that's that's huge to us and, and, but what I like is I like the, the attention you give to the audience <laughs> I like the way Sites goes around the table to the people, and I want everybody just wants to hug him and kiss him. And <laughs> oh just, Lord! You know he, he's like, and everybody says, but then they got a, a beautiful wife. She's, oh yeah! She's always there on the side watching, making sure that he's not stolen from any. She's like, a <laughs> not baby for you. Got to be married now, what? Sixteen years? Yeah. Sixteen years. Sixteen right? years we've been together. Yes. That's great. That's great. I can't believe she put up with me that long. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes she knows. She knows. Uh, she knows a good heart when she sees it. Yes. You know, Absolutely. That's exactly. That's and that definitely is noticeable. Yes. It's my best yes. friend. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. My yeah. homie. And the, <laughs> my the homie. other place that we're at is every first Friday, we're at Miller's Tavern. And that's in Sun City, which, Sun of City. course, is the 55-plus mm -hmm. community. Right, right. Of course we would be there, right? 
And then we also are starting back at the Willows Restaurant at Desert Willows Golf Course. McDonald Ranch. Yes, Henderson. McDonald Ranch, uh, <laughs> September 10th, mm-hmm. which is a Saturday, and that's going to be from 6 to 8. And most of ours are private, but we are doing our best to do more for the public because we realize and understand how important that is to reach as many people as we can. Yes. yes. Yeah, I have a friend. You, ought to, you probably been there. I don't know if you have. My mother's house. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Michael yes. Leonetti. Yes, we mm-hmm. know Mike. Yeah. Yes. You know Mike? Mm-hmm. He's a good special friend. Yeah. I met him many years ago. I think over 15 years ago. Yeah. I met Mike and a uh, good guy. Mm-hmm. I like I liked, uh, the music that he also mm-hmm. play, performs. He's a 70-year-old. Yeah, I, I don't say 70 years. I say 70 years young because he got so much energy. Yeah. And he's really great, Mike. At my mother's house, uh, restaurant, Italian restaurant. Mm-hmm. And uh, he can play the drums and the band that yes. he has. It. The only supper club in Vegas, from mm-hmm. what I understand. Mm-hmm. He puts on a hell yeah. of a show. Mm-hmm. And we got to go there one day in the very near future because I love to Yes. Yeah, we oh, have yeah. friends perform there. Yeah. yeah you yeah. have performed there as well? We haven't as of we yet. We did the... Um, our but, friends Dean and Molly have been there, and mm-hmm. so we do like an open mic, and we'll go up there yeah. and sing a song or two, and yeah, just, yeah. you know, yeah. having fun yeah, supporting yeah, yeah. our yeah. friends yeah, and yeah, their yeah, family, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, it's a great place. Definitely. Great place. So now tell me, uh, you've, you've been um, performing here in Vegas. Have you been traveling abroad? We were traveling <laughs> just before the pandemic. <laughs> okay. And uh, we did a, um, first it was a local, then it was regional, and then we did the international one in Austin, Texas. Austin. Awesome. And that was like rock star status. I always use that as an example and loved Austin. It was it was very humid, murder on the hair, but it was absolutely gorgeous with the music everywhere. Yeah. And so we had a corporate gig there and it was just fantastic. And we was gonna do some more, but then slowly through the media, we started seeing different things coming up. And so we decided to slow down, and was, yeah. which was a blessing because- well, You know, you know that's why Elvis Presley, when Elvis Presley was in the army, he was down in Fort Hood, Texas. Mm-hmm. And he was, uh, that's, that was uh, not too far from Austin. I was there myself. I went in the army when I was 18 years old. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah, back okay. in Fort Hood, and, uh, and during that year, that's when uh, President Kennedy got assassinated right. back in '63. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but uh, Elvis was in the army a couple of years before that. Okay. Yeah, right there in Fort Hood for a while. I'm a huge fan of Elvis. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, so I know, I, know you, I, I, I know you play a couple of his songs. Yeah, you got a little, maybe a little song, a little note you can play about Elvis. Nope. Not nothing with Elvis. <laughs> I'm a big fan of it. I just don't play his his music, you know, but you can always perpetrate. I mean, it was a... Oh. Can I play by ear? <laughs> Wise men say only fools rush in But I can't help falling in love Get it, Phil? <laughs> with you. <laughs> that's oh, great. Well, I agree. Okay, there we go. <laughs> no, that's, great. that's great. And uh, I mean, you guys, are, the talent that you have, you bring to the to the clubs is just unbelievable. I mean, I mean, I, I became a fan. I mean, I want to go check you guys on a regular basis because I love oh, the music. Okay. I love the oldies. You know, I'm an oldies but goodies guy. I came up with the era, Johnny Maestro and the Brooklyn Bridge, uh, Frankie Lyman and the Teenagers. Sam Cooke. Sam Cooke was also mm-hmm. one of the, Is that you, what, you have any of his songs that you sing? Oh, absolutely. We do a lot of Sam Cooke. Can you give me a little just, sample? Uh, of your Cuban, menu? Cuban, draw back your bow and let your arrow go straight to my lover's heart for me. Nobody but me. If I go a million miles away, I'll write a letter. Each and every day, cause honey, nothing, nothing could ever change this love I have for you. <laughs> All right. All right. I love it. Still love get it. chills. Yeah, 16 Sam years Cook, yeah. later. Still right? get chills. You know, you know uh-huh. I, I used to love to listen to uh, uh, Frankie Lyman. Ah, uh, yes. He had a good, he had, and I used to love to, one of the songs was uh, Tears on My Pillow. Mm-hmm. Tears on my pillow, mm-hmm. right? pains in my heart. That's, um, hold on, Frankie Lyman is, um, hold on, I'm not trying to correct you, but I'm trying to get my trivia correct. Frankie Lyman, goody goody, yeah, mm-hmm. and they went to our church. And the still of the night was um, oh, yeah. Tears on my, on my pillow, um, right. Little Anthony. Yes. Little Anthony. That, that's Anthony. it. Little yeah. Anthony the Imperials. It, it took, me, it took me a minute. Yeah, Little Anthony the yeah. Imperials, right. That's because it's, it's the early heat. for you. It's the heat and the humidity, <laughs> and it's early. Yeah, yeah. 
But yeah, he was one but of the yes, great ones. But yes, love Tears on My Pillow. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, Tears on My Pillow is one of my favorite ones. In mm-hmm. the Still of the Night. Oh, yes. That's and, um, the, the Satins, Bob Satins. Yeah, and then, yes. then of course, Silhouette. Okay. Silhouette is one right. of my favorite ones too as well. Wow. Yeah, you love back. the classics, uh, man. I love, I love all, all these volumes. You can't go wrong with the too. classics, ever. No. <laughs> ever. Yeah. This one. One minute I think she's loving the classics and then she's loving the R and B. Then next thing you know, A C D C breaks out somewhere and she's all over it. How about then Johnny Mathis? Rocking. Johnny Mathis. All music. Um, oh, John, love Johnny, Johnny Mathis. Mathis. Oh, one yeah. of my favorites as well. Yes. Oh yeah. yeah. We do um what do we do? Venus? It's like a yeah. combination of Johnny Mathis and Frankie Avalon. So it's like Frankie Mathis and Johnny, you know, Avalon. Right. And, and we do Venus. You know, yeah. It's like you sing sing part of it and then I sing it Johnny's way. Right. Right. We have fun. Yeah, I think the biggest thing is we probably the biggest way to describe is a variety show Mm -hmm. because we just do a little bit of everything. And when we do the shows like you saw in the video, you know, we'll throw in some comedy and all our costume changes. And we just try to have as much fun as possible. One of of my favorites also was uh, Frankie Valli. Mm. In the four seasons, yes. Mm-hmm. You know Frankie Valli, like, he's still performing. That's all. Yeah. The yes, other day, yes. the other day I was watching on PBS, he was really doing his thing. He could mm-hmm. see the songs, you know, Ragdoll. Oh yeah. Sherry, Sh- Sherry, yeah. one of my favorites. Yeah. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. He can, he can really sing those songs. He's, he still has a, the high. The high mm-hmm. yes. He still has a voice, you know. Yeah. Yes. But his age is in his eighties. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and but, there's uh, there's an amazing. Uh, Tribute artist here too that does a fantastic. Oh yes, Mark yes. Vayner. Mark he, does yes, he does a incredible fantastic job of Frankie Valli. If you oh, haven't seen him gosh. yet, yeah. you would but, think he was actually he in the hits room those with Frankie. Notes. <laughs> yeah. well, who was his name again? Mark Maynard. Mark Maynard. Mark yes. Maynard. Mm-hmm. Okay. He, yeah, he, he does an incredible. And I think Frankie Valli is going to be back again here shortly. It's South Point. I think I just saw it. Yeah. South Point, ready? Yeah. yeah. We're all going to have to go. Yeah, we got to go see I have an album. I have a Gulp album that was given to me. For the four seasons, mm-hmm. somebody gave to me as a gift back in the eighties. I just mm-hmm. I did a favor for so I think one of his musicians, and he said, "Joe, I had a delicatessen up in Yonkers, New York." Mm-hmm. He came one day with an album and said, "Joe, this is a gift for you," and he autographed it in the back. I'll see maybe when he's out performing at the uh, uh, South Point, I'll see mm-hmm. him take that album to have him have him autograph it for me. Absolutely, I mean it's a gold. It's in, it's in a frame with the gold. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, you know, the fourth is it the four seasons and all the songs I. Sunday See, and all rag, the classics. love it. Yeah. And all, love there it. were so many great songs of Frankie Valley. Yeah, definitely. And it's like, you know, you were speaking earlier about what we do, and it's like we are a variety show. Yes. And it's like Sunny and Cher, but with the blonde and tan uh-huh. and more clothing. I was going to say, I wear a few more clothes than she <laughs> Or like Donnie Marie, but again, with blonde and tan and not related. You know. <laughs> you gotta, so you gotta, we just you try to give the whole spectrum to, to bring joy. That is our goal is to <clears> leave them leaving – Feeling better than it was when they first popped into the room. Yeah, no, you gotta definitely have the talent. I mean, there's a lot of folks. I'm sure this is gonna be one of my f- the favorite shows that we've we had on for in a oh. long time because of your talent and your charisma and you're talking about your 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 ideas, the mindset yes. that you have. Tell us yes. a little bit more of the mindset that you have in mind. Yes. So for me, you know, it really is about helping people find out who they truly are. You know, we're we're all this beautiful creation, and we end up going through life pulled this way, pulled that way, you know, pulled by everything going in the world, but we don't have to. We are meant for so much more, so much more. And so that's what I work with. And, you know, there sometimes people will want to work more on their finances, their marriage, their relationships, you know, their career. It really doesn't matter what it is because everything goes down to mind. Mindset matters in everything you do, whether it's a business, whether it's personal. And, you know, it, it's it's beautiful. It's what I now put into my senior advocacy more than anything. And I'm involved in a book with a... A great group of authors through our National Aging in Place Council. It'll be coming out September 29th. And it's basically aging in place conversations. And I love that I was allowed to put my mindset in that because people don't think about that as a part of aging in place. But when you have a mind like this wonderful gentleman who says, but I'm getting younger every year and who 
just does it beautifully with the perfect example. I can't help but just feel like I'm in the presence of just such greatness when it comes to the mind. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I came down with that COVID, hospitalized mm. for five months, mm. and a lot of folks didn't think I was going to make it. Mm. But I said, you know, I got to make it because this, the last chapter of my life is not going to be retirement. I got a good chapter in my you life. You got things to do, man. The last chapter is the best. <laughs> anyway, if somebody wanted to reach you guys, they want to go online and check you out, where can they see you? Here we go. Yeah, so on Facebook, it's under Scythe and Deanne, and then also my personal one. We have an awful lot of footage that people will tag me on, the Deanne or Rare Cameron. And then on Instagram, we have it under Scythe Cameron and Scythe and Deanne. And you can call us at 702-848-7373. Scythe's website, entertainlasvegas at gmail.com is how you can email us. Well, you guys, you heard it there from Scythe and Deanne. <laughs> very, very happy to have him on our show. We'll catch you next week. With another big surprise. Take care. Thank you, Joe, for having us. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.